guys. I am just making sure everything is working correctly and then I'm going to get started. For some reason, it's been having a little bit of issue with this game. So please bear with me for just a second. I am just trying to make sure everything is uh, showing up for you. Not quite sure why when I went live it changed the size of everything here. Um, also, please let me know how the audio and stuff is doing because I, uh, I'm pretty sure I got it to work, but... Hey! How's it going? Thank you for joining! This is my first time playing this game, so um, we will see how things go. Like I said, if there's any issues with the audio, if the music's too loud or anything, just let me know and I will adjust it as best as I can. Music's too loud. Yeah, for some reason it seems to be doing that a lot lately. There we go. I hope... Is that a little bit better? I did eat, yes. I actually just finished eating before I got started. I made sure to actually eat beforehand for once. Because <laughs> I'm really bad about forgetting to do that. Oh, and I've got myself showing up on here. Twice. Okay, there we go. Better? Okay. And what about you? How are things going? I still haven't got my PC, which is really too bad, but uh, I decided I would try and start playing stuff again, even despite that. Okay, let's start, get the game started here. Say, so I know it's similar to Harvest Moon, but I've never actually played it or Stardew Valley or whatever. That's good, I'm glad that your head isn't hurting too bad or anything. Getting smacked in the head is definitely not a good way to, I mean, I'd say start the day, but I guess you were more likely going, I hope you went to bed after that actually, now that I think about it. Did you go back to bed? <laughs> Please tell me you got sleep after that. I'm curious. I don't know how customizable this is. I, I did back it on Kickstarter, but I haven't actually played with it at all. So let's see what we can do here. Oh jeez, you went to bed at 11 a.m. I mean, I'm glad that you slept. That, that at least is good, but... Oh, that's how this works. I see. Okay. Well, I guess they're not going to let me have my heterochromia in here, so we'll... Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay, so you did get quite a bit of sleep. That's good. That's good to hear. It's always kind of fun playing around with these, I'm not gonna lie. It's funny because I backed this so long ago that I don't actually remember very much, so this is a totally blind playthrough. Uh, yeah, gotcha. I, I can definitely understand that. It's got to be tough when your time zone is so different than a lot of the other people that you like to hang out with. Ah, okay, no, I don't want to be blonde. Okay, I guess that's as close as I'm going to get. Hey, Shin, it's good to see you. How are you doing? And thank you for the lurk over there. Okay, well, I guess that's as close as to my hair as I'm going to get. Looks like I can't customize the color of the clothing, which is too bad. Oh, hey, that, that, that looks like it'll work, though. Ha! Okay, there we go. Good as a dummy can be. Hey, you're not a dummy. Um, I'm doing okay. I'd say I I'm doing a bit better the last couple of days, which is nice. Thank you for asking. How about you? Uh, and I appreciate that, Zin. That's really sweet of you.
Thank you. Hopefully it's uh hopefully it's good. Should be fun. Nowhere to run now, loser. Oh, am I getting bullied? I guess I am. Let go of me. My books, stop. Oh, am I a nerd? What are you going to do, huh? You bit me. <laughs> Accurate. Hey, get back here. Where did time go? <laughs> Where did the time go? Hiding from someone? Oh. Stranger danger. They have a cat, though. They can't be that bad. I didn't mean to startle you. That's okay, I guess. Who was that out there? Just some bullies. Hell yeah, you can always have a hug. The question is, do I remember how to actually do it properly? I probably don't. But I'm gonna try. Yay! Okay, I, di I did remember how to do it. <laughs> Don't worry, no one can find you here. Don't mention it, you look like someone who enjoys a good book, am I wrong? Are you trying to sell me something? Because those guys took my money, so... <laughs> Heavens no, you just look like you could use some help. Guidance, even. Or perhaps a sense of purpose. God. I think everybody, all of us, understand that feeling. I, I could use a sense of purpose myself. <laughs> Aw, I'm so happy for it, too. I'm glad you could make it in, Shin. It's been a while. Then again, I can't remember the last time I streamed. It had to have been at least a week ago. Help sounds nice. What's the catch, old man? Yeah, help sounds nice. It sure does, doesn't it? Stay right there, I'll be back in a flash. What could it be? This is weird. Maybe I should just leave. Dude, did he just like disappear? What the fuck? That was weird. Here it is. How did you... Yeah, I've been really bad about it, especially with everything going on lately, I just haven't really... I've been kind of depressed, so I haven't really felt like streaming, but, uh... I decided it was time. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, especially, so... One of my favorite stories. Though, to tell you the truth, I can't quite recall how it ends. Perhaps you could help me with that. What? <laughs> Unintelligible. Here, let me start. Once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time time. Good luck, young woman. You could be just the hero I need. Ha ha ha. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a lot lately, but uh, I'm hanging in there. And if not, there will always be more to choose from. That doesn't sound... Oh, cool. Did I just get isekai What was that sound? Sophia? Are you teleporting around again, honey bun? <laughs> just you wait. What? 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 The woman strikes you with her cane. Wow. Hiya! That'll teach you to sneak up on an old blind woman. Damn, man. Hey, is that how you greet everyone? Oh, heavens, you scared me half to death, but your voice. I don't recognize it. Hey, are you calling me stinky? But thank you. I definitely will do my best. It's going to be uh, an interesting, I guess, little over a year. But we'll, we'll see. I'll do my best and see how it goes. At least I know I've got great friends like you. That'll hang out with me and help keep me sane. <laughs> hmm. 
You'll tell me who you are if you know what's good for you, and you better tell me quick before I strike again. Man, that is one tough old broad. Who are you, and how the heck did I get here? She strikes you with her cane. What did I just tell you, huh? You have wool in your ears, youngin? <laughs> hey, she sounds like me. <laughs> All you need to know is that I'm the lady with the cane and you're in my village. She grips her cane like a baseball bat. Hell yeah. Jeez, okay. My name is Time. Hmm, Time? Time. Time doesn't ring any bells. Look like- <laughs> looks like it's the cane for you, lassie. <laughs> Don't hit me again, I'm new here. Wherever here is. You're new, eh? Or so you say. I guess that makes sense. Ha! <laughs> she even says a. Eh. She's definitely- that, that- that- that's me. As an old lady. It does? Not really, but I suppose it makes as much sense as anything else in Brookhaven. My name's Loretta, by the way, and I run things around here. Can you tell me to stop playing this Digimon thing? What Digimon thing? Which Digimon thing are you playing? And which Digimon thing are you playing without without inviting me? Because I like Digimon things. Brookhaven. Is that the name of this village? Were you born yesterday? Of course it is. Hmm. If you're new here, then that means you don't have a home, do ya? You can't have that. No siree. That'd reflect poorly on the town. And whatever reflects poorly on the town reflects poorly on me. Man, can I find someone like this that'll just offer to give me a fucking house? Is there a hotel or something? Maybe a telephone I could use? A hotel? A tele- What? You're speaking crazy talk, lassie. Maybe I should let Katya have a look at ya. But we've got to get you off the streets first. Wait. 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 There's no- Does that mean there's no phones in this universe? Interesting. Well, I mean, that could be a good thing. In the Digidork chat. Oh! The bot stuff! Yeah, I need to try that out. Do we actually, like, fight each other and stuff in that? Or is it just, like, a pet raising? Follow me, quickly now. We just so happen to have a small patch of land that no one else wanted. Real nice land, if you can look past all the weeds and the rocks, that is. <laughs> Man... Seriously, why can't I meet someone like this in real life who'll just be like, Hey, here's a free fucking farm. Thank you, Loretta. My day has been kind of crazy. Don't mention it, dearie. My job has always been to help the townsfolk of Brookhaven, and I take that seriously. Oh, that's interesting. So we can raise them and then trade them back and forth? That's different. Is it just one per person? Is that how it works? Now follow me this way. Wait. This way. The blind lady is gonna lead me somewhere, huh? Here she is. Your new home. She's a bit of a fixer-upper, but she'll treat you well if you do the same. Dude, look at this fucking scarecrow! It's got like a pumpkin head. That's awesome! I want- look, there's a little house and a greenhouse and even like a dog house. And a little pawn. Seriously, man, where the fuck is this and sign me up? Because <laughs> here's a free fucking farm is not viable business strategy. I know, right? But seriously, if only. I'd give up my phone if it meant that I could have this. Not gonna lie. Now you just get yourself settled in, okay? Just relax and get your bearings. Come nightfall, we'll be back for your our welcoming sir. Oh no, am I getting indicted into a cult? Who's this we you're talking about? That's kind of ominous. I, I, either of those, honestly. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head, dearie. You'll have all your answers in due time. I'm definitely getting- I'm definitely getting taken into a cult, aren't I? You getting- get- Where's the heathens? I mean, I am dressed all gothed and stuff. And cultist! There, I just realized, I didn't realize that was you talking to me for a second there. I, I, I think I'm being indicted into your cult. And down for VC? I might be. I'm not sure what's going on yet. I haven't heard from uh, Rusty, so I'm not sure what time he's going to be 
coming home or whether or not we're going to be doing something or not tonight because we didn't yesterday, but uh, I will let you know. Just meet us in the cave over yonder whenever you feel prepared. Oh god. Oh god, that does sound really ominous. Farewell for now. Oh god, I'm gonna get indicted into a cult. Oh, this is all the... Okay. Magic spells? Oh, sweet. I have spells? Oh, I probably just don't have any yet. What's this thing? I don't know what this is. I think I is supposed to be inventory? Okay, can I... Oh, I'm carrying a chest with me? Why is it in my inventory? Nice to see you! Welcome, welcome! How's your day going, Ragna? Oh, cool. There, there's actually quite a bit of stuff. See, I know I can get all kinds of interesting animals in this, and I'm definitely all for that. Yeah, and I can get turned into a vampire or a werewolf, which is pretty cool. Equip a weapon. Okay. I don't think I have a weapon. I can also get minions. How do I get a cat or a dog? Okay. Cool, cool. I know, right? Why do I have someone's chest in there? I wonder if that has something to do with the cult that I'm clearly getting brought into. Okay, that's how I go in. I'm guessing I should put the chest in here somewhere? I don't know why I would ha want to have it with me all the time. Seems kind of a weird thing. Okay. There- okay, there we go. That's a watering can, shovel, I'm guessing pickaxe, axe, and Okay. Really like the art style. It's really cute little pixel art. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're not doing so well today. I hope that you're uh, able to get a much better sleep tonight then. Oh, no worries, Shin. Take care. Thank you for hanging out. Is it raining? It's my first day and it's raining here already? Okay. How do I- I know there was a way to like run around which way? Oh, I just- I don't hold it, I just- Ah, uh, okay. Cool, cool. Is this mine? Apparently I can't open it. Something is keeping the door from being open. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how I do that. Can I put water in the doggy bowl? Doggy bowl? Oh, I guess I can't. They didn't give me very clear instructions for what I'm supposed to be doing this first day. Like, there's fish, but I don't have a fishing rod. Oh, there we go. Attend the meeting, see if I'm gonna get- if I am gonna get indicted. Oh, thank you for the hydrate redeem! Good thing I refilled this. All right, let's see what they do to me. Hi, a neighbor. Hello, spooky robed child. Or nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Shush, Noah. Don't mind. I was right. Look at cultist. It is a cult. Don't mind him. He's just excited. Is that a goat that they're going to sacrifice in the fucking middle there? What kind of game? I thought this was a Harvest Moon Story of Seasons game. What is this? Is this real? Am I in the right place? I think both of those are pretty logical questions. Is this real? Yeah, step forward sacrifice. I mean, neighbor. We're 
all so excited to meet you. Emma, huh? She's pretty. Hush now, you're scaring the poor lass. Yeah, I, I, I just walked in and you're all wearing black robes and it looks like inside of a summoning circle with a goat. Please don't hurt the goat. That was my intention. This is a welcome part of your party. Planning committee needs some serious help. I was just looking for the bathroom. Backs away slowly. Both of those are great. There's no need to be rude. We just have a unique way of welcoming new arrivals. What happens here tonight will determine your place in our little community. My place? I never said I was staying. Once I remember how I got here, I'm going home. This will be hard for you to accept at first, but no one can leave this place. It's for your own safety that you accept that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, have a good night, Ragna. I hope you sleep well, and I hope that tomorrow goes a lot better for you. Thank you for stopping in. For my own safety, you're not making any sense. I'll just find a road or something and following it to the ne follow it to the next town over. If only that were true. This place isn't like the old world. There's danger lurking around every corner. What, like bears and stuff? Ugh, nightmare. Again? Really? No, child. This village is surrounded by a vast emptiness that we've come to call the Unwritten Lands. Others like you have tried to enter them only to find themselves unwritten. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Figuratively or... Unmade, dissolved, turned to ash, poof, gone. Need I go on? Hey, look, this guy looks like Sebastian. Is that Sebastian? I think that's Sebastian from Stardew Valley. Just saying. That's quite all right, Roman. Listen time. Everyone that has entered this village has a role to play. Our roles give us meaning, and in some ways, that is what keeps the void at bay. All of that makes sense, I guess, but is that a lamb in front of you? Does that little guy have a role too? Oh, please don't don't hurt the lamb. <laughs> its name is even Philip. Oh no, it's Black Philip. <laughs> oh man, I've seen this movie. <laughs> it does not well end well. Philly, say hi. We'll be using Philip here for an experiment. You see, my predecessor stumbled upon this magic book, a grimoire if you will, during one of her quests. With a little help from you, the grimoire, and this lamb, we're going to summon ourselves a demon- What? What is this game? Uh, why? It's simple, child. We need the power of a demon if we are to survive in this strange world. While the cost may be high, we must always think of the greater good. The greater good. I I'm seriously starting to get spooked out here. What the hell? I thought this, this was a frickin' Stardew Valley farming game. I feel weird saying this to a room full of people in robes, but magic isn't real, and even if it were, summoning demons is usually bad, right? Not inherently bad, but it will come at a cost. The conditions are different for each of us, so we won't know what yours will be until it's too late. Are you ready? No. Ready as I'll ever be. Sorry about the- Chat, look away. Look away. They're gonna do something bad. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell just happened? This is- I thought this was like a sweet, cute little part- What is this game? Um... Uh... Ha. Huh. Ha, <laughs> okay. Who dares summon me? Forgive us, demon. We wish to make a pact with you once more. Oh, it's just you. Ahem. <clears throat> you humans are pledging souls like they're going out of style. What is it this time? We have a new arrival. Demon, meet time. Time, demon. Nice to meet you, offer handshake. You're kind of short for a demon. <laughs> you best pull that hand back before I eat it. The energy radi radiating off of you is quite fascinating. Strange for a human. I sense power within, though you may not feel it yourself. It's settled. Your position in this story shall be the hero. 
You humans don't have one of those yet, do you? Our last one died? <laughs> Seriously, what am I- what am I even playing right now? I'm so confused. Hey, Jeff! Nice to see you! How are you doing? Thanks for hopping in, by the way. Um, I'm doing okay. Doing a little better these days. Although I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on. I thought this was like a cute farming adventure game and they just sacrificed a goat, so I'm not so sure now. Good, good, good. But know this time, when the time is right, I will return to collect what is owed. And that is? Oh, just your... Anyway. Is that the time? The missus will be expecting me home for dinner. <laughs> And I need t time to clean this human smell off. <laughs> Speaking of which, who ordered the lamb? That's Philly, stomps foot, what? Alright, alright. But seriously though, are you gonna finish that? Waste not, want not. Farewell, mortals, and remember time. I shall return to collect what is owed in exchange for your new magic abilities. Don't get yourself killed before then. Blessed be, time, you will find yourself able to cast magic spells after this sacred ritual. Seeing as you are the new hero, do not be alarmed. We have much to discuss, but you should get some rest until then. Seriously? What the hell? I- I- I come to watch this- play this cute game and I just- I- I just get indicted into a cult, right? What? What? No, 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 no. I didn't want you to do that. I'm trying to see if I can move that. Oh, okay. Ha! Cool! <laughs> Look at me casting spells. That is fucking cool. I have no idea what's going on, but, uh... Nice, that's cool. Oh, you're on a magic quest now. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure what's going on. And the demon will be back for your soul, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking there... I, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I don't know if, what I'm supposed to be doing here. What button am I supposed to push to like... How do I, like, go to bed and stuff? Oh, there we go. Interesting. Well, that, um, didn't go the way I was thinking it was going to. We'll, we'll say that much. I really don't know what the hell that was. Uh-oh. I think my computer might have just... Okay, there we go. It died for a second. There it goes. While you're settling in on this new farm, don't forget to introduce yourself to the other townsfolk. We can't have our hero acting like an old hermit, can we? I will warn you though, our villagers can be quite the talkative bunch. So just take your time. No one would blame you if you needed a few days to meet them all. There really is no rush. P.S. I included some pocket change for you. Spend it wisely. What? No. Okay, so that's my only quest for now then. Q. 
Okay. I guess I can't forage or anything, maybe? I don't know exactly how all this works yet, so bear with me while I figure this out. It's too early to visit. Oh, yeah, it's 7.30 in the morning. Don't blame him. I wouldn't be up at 7.30 if I didn't have to, ever. Man, these little pixel graphics are super pretty. I really like them. I know it says I like, water my crops and everything in the health help menu thing, but I don't think I actually have any seeds or anything right now. No, I don't. Interesting. Okay. So I'm just supposed to like wander around? Oh, I probably shouldn't go there. There's monsters and I don't have- I mean I have magic I guess, but I don't have any weapons or anything. And I'm not really sure how I get them. Is that a fairy circle? That looks like a fairy circle. What time do people actually get up though in this? Oh, okay, I guess I can wander in here now. Hey, there's a frog! I guess I can't go and interact with it, but there's a frog on the table for some reason. Uh, museum, I'm guessing? The museum does not want this item. You may have turned it in. I'm talking to a carrot? like Sebastian. Um, hi? You're probably looking for Thomas or Daniel or maybe Natalie? Nope, I'm supposed to meet everyone, including you. Oh, he avoids eye contact. Well, I'm not really up for chit-chat. Don't take it personally. You're Roman, right? Did I do something wrong? No, I mean, yes, I am Roman, but no, you didn't do something wrong. It's just been one of those days, you know. Except instead of one bad day, it's been years. Oh god, man, I know exactly how this dude feels. And I'm not really interested in adding any new problems into the mix. Wow, rude. You just meet me and you call me a problem? So you're the village grump. Am I the new problem? Oh, um... <laughs> Sorry, this happens sometimes. The sweating, don't worry, everybody sweats! No, no, not the sweat! I mean, I do sweat, but like a normal amount, it's just... Well, new people make me a little nervous, and Natalie says I can get sort of prickly and mean when I get anxious. She says I'm like a cactus. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't take it personally. You are a little prickly. <laughs> it can make talking to people complicated, though I guess you've seen that firsthand. Anyway, I don't want you to think of me as just a grumpy cactus. I've been this way since I was a kid, but it's not who I am. Or at least, not the only thing I am. Off topic, but he have you ever played Swords and Strongholds? It's like a tabletop role-playing game. Ha, <laughs> he's a D&D nerd. It sounds kind of fun. Oh, well, I run a game from time to time. You're welcome to join. Anyway, it was really nice meeting you, and I'll, um, I'll see you around? See you around, Roman. Okay, I like him already. He's, I mean, he looks like Sebastian, so I kind of figured I would, but he's a total dork, so... And he looks goth, so goth plus dork. It's like double the win. Oh, shit, there she is. Hello. The one, w or the young woman looks at you up and down and sighs. I was expecting someone with a bit more grandeur. Oh god, I don't like her already. That old devil said he would declare a hero for us, and this is all we get? How disappointing. High school called, and they want their mean girl act back. You can't afford to be thin-skinned, especially not with a face like yours. Oh! Your childhood must have been absolutely dreadful. Seriously, can I- can I smack this bitch? 
Oh, thank you for the hug, Redeem! Ah, if my phone keyboard thingy wasn't so bad, this would be a lot easier. Yay! There we go! You get hugs. Shouldn't you be nicer to me? I am the hero, after all. All your insults don't change the fact that I'm the new hero jealous much. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. The demon has been known to play fast and loose with his selections. Case in point, he named me president of the welcoming committee. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I'm qualified for a great many positions, but I'm not too proud to admit this, but my intimidating beauty and dazzling intellect are completely wasted on welcoming slack job jaw new or arrivals. Okay, seriously, I want to- can I throw a fireball at her? I wonder if I can throw a fireball at her. They tend to get all sweaty and tongue-tied, just like you, actually. I really just need to learn your name so you can- I can move on to the next person. Oh, poor baby wants this to be over. Yeah, you're going to last long. And that was sarcasm, by the way. It means I actually think you're going to fail, probably repeatedly, and I'll be stuck here welcoming some bright-eyed new hero after you're gone. Lucky me. Wow, seriously, I hate this bitch. Magic eat. Yeah, seriously, I'm agreeing with that. Rebecca, Emily, Sarah, I'm just gonna keep guessing. Emma, and don't forget it. What do you mean walks away? She's sitting on her fat ass right now. She's not walking anywhere. Well, I'm definitely not gonna marry her. Is that as fast as I go? I think it might actually be as fast as I go. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there we go. What's it like out there, Simone? She's pretty, but is she married or... Out where? In the real world. Haven't you been there? Humor me. It's fine, I guess. Not as magical. Global warming, war, disease. The whole place has... Or <laughs> the whole place was kind of a... Bu I'm totally taking that. But there's something about this place. That's what you were going to say, right? It feels wrong here because none of this is real. Not like the world you came from. Don't you remember the real world? How could I? I was born here. So you've never left? Please don't make me explain how babies were- What? My parents met here and they had me and my little brother. Kind of selfish of them, don't you think? Wow. That is... Messed up, depressing, and raging. I gotta say, this game so far is nothing like I was expecting. I'm not really sure what I think of it. <laughs> but who cares? We're here now, right? I'm Simone, by the way. Nice to meet you. I know, we met already, remember? It's been nice seeing a new face. Seriously, this town can be so boring sometimes, though I guess that's all about to change, right? What do you mean? You're the new hero. With your help, we might actually find a way out of this dead-end fairy tale. Am I supposed to be trying to, like, help these people escape a storybook or something? I could finally see cities and oceans and drive a car. No pressure, new girl. You've just got a whole town's fate, and more importantly, one woman's hopes and dreams on your shoulders. Don't mess this up. Okay, she's kind of interesting. Matthew, the man smacks the side of his head. Ever had a bug stuck in your ear? <laughs> Is it still alive? <laughs> Insect? Creepy crawly? Do they still have bugs in the real world? This is what I get for encouraging Noah. Noah's my son, if you didn't know. Is he a dilf? Like, can we marriage this guy, or is he married to Simone? I still remember the day he brought home his first bug. What was it called? A roly-poly? <laughs> Anyways, I should have told him to take it back outside, but you know what I did? What? I let him keep it in a jar next to his bed. Told myself it was just a phase that he would move on to. Fire trucks or sports or something else. It's been months since then and now I'm waking up with bugs all over the house. Bugs in my pocket, bugs in my hair. Dude, you definitely need to put a stop to that. Bugs are nasty. Hey, Pecro! How's it going? It's been a while. 
Also, this dude needs to do something. If his kid is putting bugs in his hair, like, that is gross. Nichi! How are you doing? It's good to see you, too. It's been a while. Uh, I'm doing okay. It's been kind of a crazy week so far. And by that, I mean, like, the last seven days, not... Like, I, I realize it's only Tuesday, although it doesn't feel like Tuesday. But, uh... Yeah, I'm doing okay. Doing a little bit better today. Bugs in your ear? Yeah, no, I don't like bugs. Bugs are disgusting. Yep, that too. Seriously, is this guy a, a dilf or is he married to Simone? Because it seems like he's hitting on me. Noah's a good kid, but she would have known how to handle him. Okay. Oh, don't mind me. You're young and probably have places to be, right? I don't need to bore you with my life story, especially before you even know my name. It's Matthew, by the way. If you've met Noah and Simone, then you've met the whole family. Okay, so he's single? Does that mean that he's a marriage person? I don't actually know how that sort of thing works in this game yet. His kid is collecting bugs and they're escaping containment and getting in his hair. Yeah, ugh. I mean, I can't say much. As a kid, I actually liked collecting bugs too, but I hate them now. I think they're fucking nasty. But I hate them because I've been bitten by so many different ones, and now I think they're scary. And uh, not up to too much. This is uh, Brookhaven. It's my first time playing it. It's um, not what I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be some like happy Stardew Valley Harvest Moon kind of game, and it's already had... Um, Somebody sacrificing a lamb to the demon or s I, I don't know, man. It's, it, it's, it's a thing. Are they your kids? Well, they're certainly not my parents, though I do look pretty good for my age, don't you think? Don't answer that. I'm not sure how many more kids I can take. <laughs> Should let you get back to all your hero stuff. If you need anything, you can find me down at the tavern most nights. Drowning your so sorrows. Not that I'm judging or anything. Do you need a drinking buddy? Yeah, there we go. Not like that, I own the place. <laughs> and before you go, watch yourself around my daughter, Simone. She's been having trouble lately. Yeah, no kidding. Or rather, she's been getting into trouble, and she doesn't need anyone helping her with that. Understand? Good, I'll see you around, hero. So somebody improved Stardew, then. It's definitely, um... It definitely has more of a plot than Stardew so far. Hey, hey, other child, talk to me. Child. You feel a slight pinch on your leg. Grr, I'm a spider. The young boy is biting you? What the fuck? Why is there a little child biting my leg? You know what happens to spiders? They get smashed. He releases his fangs. Don't be mad, I'm not really a spider. I'm Noah, but everybody calls me Bug Boy. <laughs> Probably because you're going around and biting them. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt your feelings? Why would it hurt my feelers? Bugs are super cool. Where do you live? I live with my daddy and my sister. Do you know them? They're nice, and they let me bring bugs in the house, but don't tell them I bring bugs in the house. What? <laughs> And I can go skateboarding, but only when I wear a helmet, and... And yesterday I was playing outside and I got a splinter. Have you ever had a splinter before? I... It was so scary and my sister said I should take it out, but now I think I might keep it in. It could be my new friend. What, is, what do you think? Maybe your mom and dad would be better at handling this. My mommy, do you know where she is? What do you mean? Nothing. Give me your hand. Why? Sophia taught me a magic trick. Want to see or not? No leaving, silly. Now close your eyes. No peeking. Oh, God. Ew! You now have a handful of boogers? What the fuck is wrong with this child? I think I've had enough for one day. Buy a new grown up. Oh wait, give me back those boogies. <laughs> oh god, what the hell, dude. Punish your child. I 
do not know Hudson well enough to enter. I'm trying to talk. Is, is that who that is? Hammer this, hammer that. They could have at least given me an instruction manual. Is everything okay? Whoa, I didn't see you there. Is he stone? Because I'm just, I, I just walked into his house. You wouldn't happen to know anything about blacksmithing, would ya? I'm in a bit of a bind. Blacksmithing? Like making swords and stuff? No. This is hopeless. The name's Hudson, by the way. Formerly Chef Hudson, but now I'm supposed to be Hudson the Blacksmith? What the fuck kind of world am I living in? This is so weird. You don't sound very happy about that. Yeah, not really. We had a few unexpected losses in the village. Re this game is seriously get, like it, it's got foreboding written all over it. I'm I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous. I used to cook at the tavern every night, whipping up sweet and savory delicacies like a true artist. But there was a vacancy at the smithy, so they reassigned me. Seriously, what the hell kind of weird ass cult place did I stumble into? Didn't even provide any on the job training either. Problem is. I can't tell copper from bronze and my swords keep snapping in half. <laughs> the only things I've gotten right so far are horseshoes, but I think Natalie is just being nice. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you the town blacksmith then? I'm sure you'll figure it out. Practice makes perfect, you know. My point exactly. Maybe someone didn't like my cooking. <laughs> This seems like a very bad reason to make somebody a blacksmith, I'm, I'm just saying. If you made me do something like that on the fly, I'd probably end up burning myself or cutting myself or hurting myself in some way. Even Everyone keeps telling me to keep my head down and practice, practice, practice. You'll get better, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Super useful advice, especially when I'll never be as good as... Uh-oh. Just an old friend. Point is, we had a real blacksmith up until a few months ago, but now we just have me. You have any idea how much pressure I'm under? You're talking to the hero. I mean, I think I have some idea. Yeah. Oh, right. Really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Well, maybe we can make a deal just between the two of us. If you promise to save the whole world, then I promise to keep training until I become a master blacksmith. Or at least reasonably okay, or a reasonably okay one. What do you say? Got yourself a deal. I feel better already. Guess I'd better go start training. And if you need anything fixed up, don't hesitate to swing by the old shop. I can't guarantee the quality of my weapons, but I can guarantee I'm the only blacksmith in town. This whole fucking town is really messed up. I'm just... Like, what the fuck? Oh, there's randomly people everywhere. I think that's Simone. Did I come from up here? I think I came from up here. Who's that? Oh, it's the bitch again. I don't want to talk to her. I don't like her. Okay, that building's empty. Well, how am I supposed to talk to him if he... What the fuck is he even doing in there? This is such a weird game. I I'm so confused. Okay, and this is my... There's randomly... I have mail? I heard you've introduced yourself to most of the town. How do I know that, you ask? The mayor has eyes everywhere. But more importantly, you actually managed to make good impressions... Or make a good impression with a number of them, and they told me so. Keep up the good work. P.S. Have some more pocket change. Just don't go spending it all in one place. It is interesting. Yeah, it's, um... I mean, the first thing that happened was... There was some weird cult ritual, and somebody, like, killed a fucking lamb or a goat or something. So I, I'm super confused as to what the hell's going on. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, another one. And I like the scarecrows in this game. Ponies and... There's a cow cow! I want to pet the cow. Cow! 
I'm guessing this is... Natalie, you always know how to brighten my day, hero. I do? This is the first time I've spoken to you, though. Check store. Sure thing, newbie. Take your time to browse the shop. I can't see it because the help menu is in the way, but okay. So I don't really need anything. Whoops, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, can I? No! Stop! <laughs> Game! Stop it! Fine, livestock options. That, that's not livestock options, but that's okay. I too want to pet the- right? There has to be a way to pet the cow, right? Automatic collector, fertilizer, milk bucket, wheat. No seeds. I have yet to find out where I, wherever the hell it is that I can b get seeds from, but that's okay. And I was what I wanted was to see what kind of animals I could buy o right off the bat. Oh, there's sheepy too, and a goat. Hey. Oh, okay, I don't know what it, the little turnip thing is, but I thought it was going to attack me, but it's actually being cute. Where the fuck am I, anyways? George? Pick a card, any card. Is this how you greet everyone? <laughs> Ahem. Okay, fine. Is this your card? It isn't. You're sure? Not again. Sorry about that, by the way. I just needed someone to test my newest trick on. Unfortunately, no one else is particularly interested in magic these days. Isn't this a magic villain? Or villi villain? We summoned a demon a little while ago, remember? <laughs> well, yes, but that's magic with a capital M, whereas I do real magic. You know, sleight of hand, card tricks, pulling coins from behind people's ears. Magic! He suddenly extends his arm, a drove of... Or a, and a dove. I thought that said drove of flies. Okay, that dove flies is much better. <laughs> flies out from his sleeve. Hmm. There were supposed to be two of them. That's not good. <laughs> For your next trick, maybe you could introduce yourself? Oh, right. They call me George the Magnificent. It's kind of a generic stage name. <laughs> Fair enough. No need to be so far formal when we're going to be neighbors, right? But I'm sure I've bothered you long enough for one day. If you need something else, you can usually find me here at the local supermarket. Oh, yay! Hug redeem! I like hug redeems. Let's see if I can if I can do this again. Yay! You get hugs! Don't worry, I'm much better at selling things than I am at marketing them- or making them disappear- I- I can't speak English today, apparently. Okay. On that note, ready for one last trick? Oh no. I should probably go. Now you see me, now you don't. George throws a smoke bomb and walks away! <laughs> Yay! I get hugs too! Perfect, you are just the person I've been looking for. Nice to meet you. Heroic and courteous? Consider me impressed. We've been waiting for years for someone like you to show up. Some of us less patiently than others, I'll admit. But I'm confident that you will be able to help me, or rather, help us with all of our problems. Oh dear, did you have something in mind? Ah, I'm the cow you wanted to pet. I do have cute cow ears. Just the usual saving the world and all that. Though I could use some help with... What am I doing? You've only just arrived, yet here I am bothering you about all the things you might do for us when it should be the other way around. Perhaps we could st start over. Maybe just start with your name. Nice to meet you, hero. My name's Camilla. Though you may also call me Auntie Camilla if you'd like. That's what little Noah and Sophia call me, at least. Though you do look a fair bit older than them. 
I should hope so, considering I'm supposed to be a hero and apparently I can get married in this game, so. Maybe just Camilla for now. My apologies. George is always warning me about being overly familiar with newcomers. It's just my nature, I suppose. Oh, is this his wife, maybe? Oh, okay. Speaking of which, my husband and I would absolutely love to have you over for dinner. Don't worry, you needn't answer right away. I know George and I can be a tad eccentric. This is a whole town full of cult people. Of course everybody's eccentric and weird. But I do want you to think of us as family. There I go, being overly familiar again. I can't help myself, I'm afraid. It's no problem at all. Dinner sounds perfect. Or it would be nice to have a family here. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, sweetie. I'm sure you have very important hero things to do. Don't hesitate to come find me if you need anything else, okay? Anything at all. Auntie Camilla is here for you. Apologies again. I only mean that I'm here for you. Farewell. Parenting isn't for the faint of heart. These kids are eating me out of house and home. They don't even know how much it costs to feed them. Enjoy it while you can, Matt. Sorry, George. Seriously, what the hell is up with this town? Thomas? The young man narrows his eyes as you approach. Have we met? Nope, that's actually why I'm here. My bad. You're the new hero from the ceremony, right? Between the darkness, the cult robes, and my failing vision, I hardly recognized you. My name is Thomas, and you are? I'm time. Did you say failing vision? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. We all have our burdens to bear. In time, I'm sure you'll find that this new world can be pretty amazing. Almost like paradise. But even Katya's magic can't heal the scars from our old lives. Besides, I should be grateful, especially to you. Why me? There was talk that I would be the next hero. Can you believe that? I'm more of a reading and writing kind of guy. I only just arrived a few weeks ago. Or was it months? Time can play tricks here. That's the same as the real world, dude. Time I, I... Yeah, I've been, I've been VTubing for over a year now. Like, that's kind of insane. But either way, your arrival may have saved me from a life of swords, spells, and dismemberment. That life is yours now. My condolences? <laughs> Gee, thanks. Is it really that dangerous here? Maybe. Maybe not. You seem perfectly capable of facing whatever evil monstrosities await in the darkest depths of Brookhaven. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what dangers await you, or even if this hero stuff is real. Katya and Loretta have plenty to say about it. And Daniel. Well, maybe don't talk to Daniel about it. He's full of conspiracy theories which, while mildly entertaining, are unlikely to help. Do you want my advice? Advice is nice. Enjoy your time here. Take it slow. You may feel f pressure to do all sorts of things, but your story is just that. Yours. The time you spend here belongs to you, and you shouldn't let anyone else tell you how to spend it. That was actually really helpful. I know I just said to take it slow, but I do have places to be. It was really nice meeting you, hero. If you need any more life-saving advice or even just a shoulder to cry on, my door's always open. Right, I didn't actually see. There we go, I can actually buy some stuff. I don't know how to ship anything yet, though. Can I use that or no? No, I guess I can't. Okay, I guess I need to go back and actually plant th those. I don't know how to fucking do all this stuff yet, but that's alright. And who's this? Liam. Wow. That's two characters that have first names of my exes. That's kind of creepy. I uh, don't think I should take this dude. Maybe next time? What, is he trying to steal? Why not bugs? This is useless. Oh, okay, just the weird kid again. Guess what- Oh, what did you do? These are all like teeny tiny little homes. Interesting.
greetings time. I hope our little initiation did not cause too much a lot. You, you literally, like, slaughtered an animal in front of me, dude. I mean, I was a little iffy with the blood sacrifice part. You are quite a breath of fresh air. I'm Katya, the head priestess of our temple. How are you settling in a brook, Caven? Has Loretta shown you where you will be staying? Yeah, it's quite the piece of land. What happened to the previous owner? They, um, they left us. Uh-huh. No matter, you're here now. That's what's important. If you need any help adjusting to life in Brookhaven, you can find me at my alchemy shop or at the temple. It was a pleasure meeting you, hero. I mean no disrespect, but the other villagers can be quite talkative, and speaking honestly, I would prefer not to become attached to you. <laughs> we have lost a great many aspiring young hero- This is, like, very, very, very bad. I'm afraid my heart is already full of its own grief. Take care of yourself. Do all you can to save this village, and I will do all with my power to help you. For now, let us leave it at that. Farewell for now. The hell? You ordered a new HDMI cable and a video to HDMI cable. Oh, you couldn't find your cable. Oh, no. Well, it'll be nice for you to have a second monitor, I'm sure. I know I really miss having my second monitor. It's been kind of crappy not having it. What the hell is with all these, like, little carrot dude? What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, there's a gym in there. You've never had a second monitor before? Oh, yeah, I that was my first time having one, and I gotta admit, it was really quite nice. Is that that dude from before? I'm gonna guess, because he's not... It's not letting me talk to him. Oh, I think that's that bitch lady again. I don't want to talk to her. Once you go to mana monitors, you never go back. Seriously, I I've had such a hard time getting used to just having the laptop now. Ah! No! Oh, okay. Apparently, I just gave him the thing I picked up. Well, that's annoying. So I guess he lives here on the beach? What the fuck? It's a shark thing. What's up, chump? Dude, what the hell? Who are you calling chump? I don't see any other landlubbers around here, do you? Jeez, you humans get dumber every year. <laughs> Didn't realize sharks were so rude. If you were born and raised in the deep, dark depths like I was, you'd probably be a little rough around the edges too. Don't take it personal, alright? Anyway, were you looking to cross the water here? The beach on the other side is real nice this time of year. Yep, is that okay with you? Well, this is my turf, you see, and it wouldn't be very fair for you to swim across without giving me anything in return, right? How's about we make this mutually beneficial? You scratch my back and I scratch yours, you get me? You want me to bring you something? Exactly. Listen, don't tell the other sharks, but I'm sick and tired of eating fish. <laughs> Ew, fish for dessert. Uh I can't handle it anymore, but if you bring me something sweet, something tasty, some maple syrup, I think I might be willing to move out of the way for you. Sure. See you soon. Hmm. The fuck is up with this town? So I just realized that means that I gave away my, one of the things of seeds that I bought accidentally. Frick, man. I don't even know how to get back to my farm, because I don't know where I am. I think my farm is this way somewhere. That's really cr I don't even know how to ship things, now that I think about it. Oh. Uh... Huh. Oh! See you later, Jeff! Take care! Thank you so much for coming and hanging out for a while. I just realized nobody's told me anything in this game, so I don't actually... How do I even sell things? 
Or do they go into the bin like in some of the other? I don't even know how to open the fucking bin. Hmm. Huh. Uh, have you ever seen her played Re-Legend? Um, I don't think so. Um, what's happening here? I don't- doesn't look like I'm tilling anything. I, uh, oh, do I need to, oh, okay, I guess I need to plant stuff here, maybe? Doesn't look like anything's happening, though. I am so confused. Game like Stardew Valley mixed with monsters and fighting. Oh, I'd probably like it then. I love those kind of games. I think that's what this kind of game is, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't really know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't need to water it. It's already got- or it's raining. I am so confused though. Like, how do I- I don't have a shipping bin or anything that I can tell. New Stardew. Um, it's supposed to be like Stardew and Harvest Moon inspired, but uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on. I'm not gonna- whoa, okay. I don't know what the hell's going on. There was a cult thing earlier and... Also, hello, sweet! How's your day going? Oh, that actually sounds really fun, Pecro. That definitely sounds like my kind of game. I'm admittedly really confused. How do I know how many people that I haven't met yet, though? Yeah, see, this one is also supposed to have multiplayer, but I don't really know a whole lot about it. Like, this is the first time I've ever actually played it. Oh, there's another item. See, I keep picking up stuff, but then I don't know what to do with it, because I don't know how to forge things, and I keep accidentally giving shit to people. Like, how do I... how do I... where do I sell things? Is there a shipping bin that I haven't seen? Like, I, I'm really confused. But yeah, that game you're talking about sounds like fun, and especially if it's got multiplayer, I'm definitely interested. Sorry, can I actually do anything in this creepy-ass cave thing now that the cult people are out of it? It's a mushroom. I am confused. It's also a fish, but I'm pretty sure I, I need a fishing rod, because I don't- and nobody's given me one. Fishy? I guess I can go back to bed for now, though. Maybe they'll give me a little bit more direction the next day. Shit. It doesn't like it when I tell it to save and go to bed for some reason. It, like, glitches.
Scheiße. Sorry guys, I think it froze. Which is interesting because it just like, I think it just jumped to the next day. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's the game or my internet or my computer, but um... Okay, that was interesting. Sure rains a lot. Whoa, thank the goddess. It was getting kind of hard to breathe in there. Oh, look at the little fairy thingy. I thought I was a goner for sure. Oh, you look surprised to, t to see me. The names do drop. I'm a fairy if you can't tell by looking at me. Although I seem to have broken one of my wings. Must have been when I got trapped in this metal contraption. Would you mind taking me to King Toad? He'll know how to fix this. I can just ride in your pocket until we get there. Onward, hu who the fuck is King Toad? I know you just got here, but I have a favor to ask already. My reserve of hops has dwindled? Unless you want to risk a year without beer, which you definitely don't, the villagers can get grumpy without their alcohol. <laughs> then I suggest you bring me five hops for my brewery. There's also a generous reward with your name on it. Maybe I should have led with that. How exactly do I do that, though? I, I still- like, nobody has told me how to ship anything, so... And my backpack is already, like, bursting full, and I have no fucking clue what to do with the shit that's in it. Do I sell things to people, or...? Oh, that's actually a... Th okay. Just, hmm. There must be a way to, uh... Put stuff into my little chest thingy at the very least, but I'm not actually sure how to fucking get it to open because when I was trying before it didn't work. But I guess I should try again. Oh, is this an ore stone? Yet again, I don't have a clue how to fucking. Oh, there we go. There's a space bar thingy. Okay. I got it open, but I don't know how to get stuff to go into it. That's interesting. Game, hello? H hello, game? Wait. Ah. Am I on Steam? Yeah, I am on Steam, actually. That's that. We'll leave that. For now, I'm just going to put some of this crap in here because I've got way too much stuff. Okay, well, I figured that out, but I still haven't figured out, like, how I ship anything. How do I sell shit to make money? What- and what the fuck is that? Uh... Game? Crafting... Oh yeah. I guess I have accidentally given shit to people. Whoops. Bar to interact. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's that. Hey, how's it going? It's been a while. Nice to see you. How have you been doing? Uh, oh, right, Serena. That's, I was trying to figure out. I was like, I know, I know that, I know you. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed. Thank you for the redeems, Zin. Stretch time. Drink time. Okay, that's how you save. Control. Huh. I know it's been a while. Yeah, I'm glad you made it too. This is the first time that I've streamed, especially, I think it's the, I can't remember the last time I streamed by myself. It's been quite a while. Uh, it's, it's been, it's been an, uh, a crazy couple of days. We'll say that, but I'm doing okay. How about you? How's school going? I've seen your your drawings. They've been looking really freaking awesome, by the way. Okay, I guess I'll start moving around and talking to people again or something, and hopefully I'll... Somebody will tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. That and finding whatever I'm supposed to do with this fairy. Said to go to the forest. Okay, now I'm back in the town, I guess. Who's that? The little girl stares at you without blinking. Hi there, sweetie. Oh, it's the creepy weird kid. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Should I call for a doctor? <laughs> We did it! We did it! What the hell? A plate of chicken nuggets suddenly shimmers into existence! What the hell? It was supposed to be ice cream, but chicken tendies are good too. <laughs> one, one. I think I'll pass. Have as many as you want. I can always ask the shadow people to make more for me. This kid is creepy as hell. Mama also says only scaredy cats and dum dums aren't afraid of magic. <laughs> the hell is wrong with all the people in this town? My name is Sophia. You're you're a weirdo. That that that's what. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that it's helping. I would love to take art classes, so I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it and learning a lot. Yeah, I'm hoping things will start mellowing out soon. Um, once uh, the disability stuff gets done and then the lawyer stuff gets done. And then all the crazy stuff going on for uh, Rusty hasn't exactly been fun either. But, uh, you know. Chicken tendies. Yeah, chicken nuggies always remind me of night too. <laughs> I miss those streams with just being filled with chicken nuggets everywhere. Hi, Time. Do you know my mama? Yeah, your mama's crazy. She's training me to be a powerful witch just like her, but she says I'm not old enough to learn any dangerous spells. 
What are you, like six? Maybe save the death magic for another day. Just be patient. I'm sure she'll be teaching you something scary in no time. I should probably go before Mama starts to worry about me. Bye-bye, new person. Okay. That's the bitchy chick. I don't like her. Hi, little turnip people. Where the hell am I supposed to be going, game? Ooh, you sent me something, Pecoro? I will take a look as soon as I am done with the stream, because I am curious. So this is like all, where all the carrot dudes are. Is this how I get to the forest? No, because then I end up in the at the beach. How the fuck do I get to wherever I'm supposed to be going? Not a big surprise. I'm guessing the game we were just talking about, which if it has multiplayer, we will definitely have to play because it sounds really awesome. That's right, and I can't go over that way because the freaking shark dude gets mad at me. Awesome, thank you. That's so fun. We will definitely play together then. I love having more games I can play multiplayer. Hey, little mushroom dudes. This is where I saw the cow. Yeah, I don't have a lot of games I can play multiplayer right now. Hi, I'm, um... Phoebe. Okay, there we go. I'm Time. Nice to meet you. You're our new neighbor. How could I forget? That's a great question. Oh no, don't mind me, my memory has just been a little cloudy since... since I don't know when. Well, this is like a weird cult, so I'm not surprised. Can I do anything to help? No, I'm sure it'll pass. I guess I'll talk to you later, Phoebe. Oh, right, bye, um, neighbor. Yeah, I was wondering if Knight had told you what was going on. It hasn't exactly been, um, a fun week-ish for us, but uh, not much we can do, so we're just trying to make the best out of the time we've got. Ooh, you'll be switching to... that is awesome. Digital art is always fun. I'd love to do art for video games. It's one of the things that I would really like to do someday. Well, I can at least say this is really pretty, and I really like the music and everything. Although I'm definitely at a loss, because I don't know what the f fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I you know what's funny? I actually have a, have a few screenshots of some of the streams that Knight did, where we just had freaking chicken nuggets everywhere, just because it was so funny. Actually, ch I know I still have some screenshots. Swans! Okay, seriously, where the frick am I supposed to go? Oh, do they have... Is it similar to, like, Pokemon with the ca or the monster designs in that game? Because I'm definitely curious. Oh, there's the forest. Oh, better? Oh, interesting. I definitely will have to check it out. I know I can get a whole bunch of different critters in this, but I don't obviously know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, these ones, it looks like I have to fight. Where the hell is this frog thingy I'm supposed to be finding? Okay, I I'm guessing it... They said forest, so I'm guessing it's over in here somewhere. They uh, definitely didn't bothered teaching anything in this. I'm just going to say that because I have no idea what's happening. Oh, yeah. If you guys are free on Sunday, that's what I was hoping for. Although now my mom's not sure if that my brother's going to be here or not. So I'm going to have to double check with her on what's going on. I am 
so lost. Greetings, traveler. Would you like to take a look at our services? Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll be seeing my mom tomorrow. Wait, what? Consider what done. I said no. I am so confused. What am I supposed to be doing? This is a very weird game. It is not what I was expecting uh, at all. Mm, yeah, it's uh, <sighs> not much you can do about army stuff, I guess, right? Like, I don't know much about how the army works in the US, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't sound like there's much that we can do at this point except for, like, pray for the best, so. I've just been trying to spend time with him and distract him whenever I can. But it's definitely, it's made for a, it's made for a difficult uh, couple of days. See, that's what I'm hoping though. Like I actually, that's one of the things that I'm looking into doing once I get all the crazy stuff out of the way with, uh, disability paperwork and everything, I'd really like to start working on games. I want to learn game dev that in live 2D I'm hoping to learn how to do, because at this point I have no idea how to do it myself, but I'd like to change that. Okay, all these random people and stuff and I can't talk to them or anything. Oh yeah, uh, if you send me a DM rem and remind me, uh, I definitely can. I know I've got a bunch of screenshots on my phone. Yeah, it would be really nice if there was a way for me to go out and, you know, visit him before he leaves. But unfortunately, it's difficult to do that when he's been working as much as he has, so we don't really know that he's gonna get a whole lot of free time, if at all. Like in the last couple of weeks, he's only had a single day off, so he's been pretty overrun with everything. Hey, Laura, it's been a long time. Things are going okay over here. Um, yeah, a bit of a rough little while, but uh, hanging in there as best as I can. How about you? Oh, look, hey, hey, look. I found Nightmare! He's bear! Look! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay, no worries. You were honey, I was honey, a whole world of honey. <laughs> no, I won't do it. Now run along, human, I'm feeling very sleepy. This spot's too perfect to leave, and besides, I'm waiting for my daughter to return from school. <laughs> I always meet her right in this very spot, and I won't change that for you, especially not with that attitude. Bears have schools? Could you go look for her? Oh man. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to... I don't remember how to actually use my magic, though. This? Yeah, I know I'm about to die. Did I kill it? Yeah, 
Yes, I see. Oh, there's where the dude I was supposed to be finding. Dude, game, I don't even know how to heal. Are you a talking toad? Are you a talking human? The name's King Toad. I rule the whole enchanted forest, except for the part the bears own. And that tree lover's village. Come to think of it, I really just rule around this pond. Nice to meet you, your royal highness. Finally, a human who shows me the respect I deserve. But alas, I am in need of your assistance, of course. I, I haven't been able to fish. I don't have a fishing rod. Papa Bear is your nickname for him. Aw, that's cute. I like that. They're quite a bit smaller than I am, but I assure you they are all my children. You can tell because they're just as handsome as I am. Nope, I haven't seen any. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Niji. I definitely will. I'll have to... I'll have to start getting stuff set up soon. Not, not at all? Oh, woe is me. Woe. They never call, they never write, they never visit. <laughs> this shall be your quest if you choose to accept it. Bring whatever toads you find to me, and I swear on my royal honor that I shall grant you whatever your human heart desires. Huh. I see you've gotten yourself into trouble again, Ribbit. What have I told you about flying into metal containers? Oh, right. Normally I wouldn't, but I thought there'd be some treasure or something. Let this be a lesson for you, Ribbit. Whatever you say. Thank you, human, for bringing this one back to me. Her parents were quite concerned, but luckily all is well. What about my broken wing? It really hurts. Well deserved, I say. Do you not remember the ancient proverb, play dumb games, win dumb prizes? Okay, so that's all for that. Now I just need to figure out how to get back home before I die. Yes, I hear you. Oh my god, that dinging is so annoying. Whoops. Yeah, I'm trying, game. I don't actually know how to heal myself, though. Or how to ship things, or how to basically do anything yet. You level up. Oh, nice! Oh, hang on. Oof, save and go to bed. Okay, thank you! Thank you so much for popping in! It was great to talk to you! And actually, I think I'm going to leave the game off here as well. I'm still not really sure what the hell I'm doing. And uh, I should go and get started on dinner because it's getting late, but at least now I know this works, so I will probably go back to playing it in the next couple of days. See if I can actually get anywhere with it. Uh, thank you again very much, all of you, for popping in. Hope you enjoyed this very odd game, because uh, I had fun even if I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. <laughs> I'm just going to find someone for us to raid now. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to start streaming more regularly now, even without, even before I get the new PC. It'd be nice to get back into it. Um, thank you! Hopefully everything turns out. I just don't want to wait too long since I know I actually have to cook tonight because I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have anything, any leftovers left. I finished them yesterday. <laughs> okay. Who is still streaming? I 
think Ember might still be streaming, in which case I'll probably raid Ember, but, uh... Oh, she is. Okay, we're gonna go and bug Ember then. Thank you so much again, guys. Um, I will try and stream again in the next couple of days, because I'd like to keep going with this, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, hope you all have a good night. Go and say hi to Ember for me.